Okay, the final thing that we want to cover today uh, before May, which is tomorrow, obviously, is don't overthink it. If you want to create a profitable uh, microsite uh, style business, if you want to scale a local uh, directory or marketplace style business, there are so many great tools that you can actually use right now that are either free or low cost that are not called WordPress, right? You can use something like Beacon or uh, Mylanote or Superstash. And there are so many affordable tools that you can literally leverage right now to build online assets and earn an amazing income while you scale your agency. Again, remember, always ask, what can you borrow to build? What can you leverage to launch? Something like Superstash, for an example, gives you unlimited uh, microsites. You can literally create as many mini sites as you want under the same uh, you know, payment plan. I signed up when they were in beta, I don't know, like five months ago. It, it's under 10 bucks a month. They might have gone up you know, to like 12 or $14 a month. But think about how much you would pay to do the same thing on something like WordPress or Ghost, etc. right? Find uh, great tools that you can use to leverage and scale your agency and then build around those sorts of, uh, you know, assets. And, and remember, you want to bucket all of this into two different categories. If you're building these sorts of sites, think about income and assets. Assets are, you know, generally long-term properties that you um, create now that have value longer term. You can sell them, trade them, leverage them in all sorts of cool and creative ways, but they may in the short term really not give you any sort of monetary leverage. But in the meantime, if you think about income, these are things that you can sell or services, I should say, that you can sell to clients, uh, folks in your ideal audience or your quintessential community. This could be, you know, web design, development, consulting, uh, et cetera, et cetera, all of which is tethered in some way to the fact that you own the authority site, right? You own the microsite and you use that to your advantage to position yourself ultimately as the perceived expert, the authority or the sort of go-to guru in your niche community industry, vertical or locality. Again, if you're selling, let's say, web design services to realtors in a you know given local market, who do you think they're gonna be more uh, likely to want to work with somebody that owns a curated microsite of the best, you know, realtors in your town or city or, you know, local province or somebody who doesn't, right? So all you need to do is use a tool like something uh, like Superstash or Beacon or Craft or even something uh, like Bento, which I've covered recently, you know, which is free to create a kind of marketplace of the best realtors in your local area. And then you turn around ostensibly to sell a service to realtors that allows you to feature them in the authority site that you've already created. It's all very simple. Uh, we're covering this in our course community uh, writ large. So if you're interested in that, feel free to sign up, but it's really not such a difficult concept to grok, understand, to apply and execute in your own business. Teach what you know, do what you love, wake up the world with your work. Thanks so much as always for listening. And if you have questions, feel free to ask. Thanks.